Hi there and uh, welcome to the second uh, photography video I'm doing on my blog on continuous focus. I hope you enjoyed the first video. Uh, I now realise just how awful I look <laughs> when using a proper uh, uh, camera to take video um, and I must uh, get round to getting myself some uh, Premiere Pro account or something so that I can sort out this mug. Anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the last video and I hope the focusing and stuff uh, didn't put you off. So this is obviously the second video and I'm using the same kit so I'm using my EM5 Mark II from Olympus which I love. I absolutely adore my four thirds cameras. I like the size, I like the flexibility but the thing I really love the most about the Olympus cameras is all of the manual control that you get on the top. <clears throat> so you don't have to move your eye away from the uh, electronic viewfinder to change your aperture or settings, your uh, shutter speed, your white balance, etc. It's all done, it's all very intuitive and the camera is ultimately configurable. Um, and I found it a real bonus when uh, doing my photography course with the British Academy of Photography. My other half, Richard, had a Nikon. Um, I can't remember the name of the model, but it was a fairly chunky, full, you know, full size digital SLR. <clears throat> It was quite bulky, it was quite big, um, but that didn't really put me off the thing that put me off the, the camera was the, the fact that it was so, I didn't find it very intuitive. Um, I'd gotten used to the manual controls on the top of the Olympus, so therefore going through little scrolly wheels on the back and touch screens etc to do what I could do in an instant on the top of the Olympus I found really annoying. Um, and actually that probably is quite true of Richard's experience of it because we no longer have the Nikon, he sold it um, a while ago. He has a, a Canon M. But if you're interested in what I'm using here, so yeah, I'm at home, I'm using the microphone that's built into the camera. Obviously it's quiet here, there's no noise, no distractions, etc. There's nothing else plugged in, the camera's doing its own job. I'm just using, um, we have a roof window. Um, in this room, so I'm just using the natural light coming in from the roof window, and I have a Lumix 20mm uh, prime lens attached to this camera, which I adore. It's a fantastic little pancake lens. But being micro four thirds, 20mm means you um, do a crop factor of double, so it's actually 40mm, so it's very nearly a portrait lens. And I like the fact that you get a decent amount of depth of field. Um, it's a fairly wide shot. Uh, considering the camera is actually, I can touch the camera, <clears throat> it's actually quite close to me. Um, but I, I like it, I think it's really cool, so it's just quite nice. You may remember, and I'm going to have to do the leaning over thing again, you may remember that I not only showed you, I took a picture with the Olympus trip, because um, I've started this journey with um, analog photography. Now, as much as I love the trip, and I love the point and shoot, and I love the fact that I can change the the um, aperture etc <clears throat> so that I have some control and I kind of decided either I like the challenge or I wanted to punish myself um, but I pushed further and I decided I would get um, an SLR. <laughs> um, <clears throat> now I don't have gear acquisition syndrome or gas as people in the photography world call it I promise um, but I did Loads of research, I'm massively big on research, um, but as it turned out, as with the trip, um, research and patience paid off um, and I was looking at uh, Canon, a, I think a Canon AE1, I was looking at the Olympus OM10 and I was looking at a few others um, and I noticed <clears throat> no matter how much these cameras seem to go on eBay for in the UK, they tended to always trip over the £50 mark and some got really really expensive and then I spotted um, uh, a couple of weeks ago someone had put one online uh, an Olympus OM10 which was in fantastic condition it looked great um, there's a few scratches on the prism on the viewfinder but apart from that from the camera which was well, probably as old as I am it, it looked fine and this person actually put it up with a buy it now price and the buy it now price was less than the average sale amount. I know they just wanted to get rid of the camera. So I kind of was like, oh, I want another film camera, do I need another camera? Uh, what's Richard going to say when he sees I've got another camera? Um, 
you know, all those things. And I thought, you know what, if I don't do it now and I don't get it now, I won't satisfy this itch and I won't. Um, I'll just keep looking um, and probably won't get such a good deal. <clears throat> so, um, I got an Olympus OM10 and here she is. So, this is uh, the OM10. As you can see, or probably not see, I'll put some pictures up. She's in fantastic condition. Um, Strap is my own. But uh, she comes with the, uh, the additional manual adapter which allows you to change the shutter speed. These cameras were designed really for, for beginners in the 80s. <clears throat> and you would set the aperture um, and the focus and then the camera would do the rest. But um, loads of people used to say, oh, that's great, but we want to do the shutter ourselves. So there's this little manual adapter you can get. And thankfully the, the OM10 I got came with it. Um, and just to show you, so here's the um, tan, and here's the trip side by side, so you can see the size. Um, it's much heavier, although well, it's not really heavy, it's just heavier than the trip. But um, it's bigger than the camera I'm using to shoot this video, so the EM5 Mark II is smaller than this. Um, I'm guessing that's just the way that components and electronics are these days. But I have cleaned it, it was a little bit dusty, I have put um, a new Ilford film in. I have a Ilford, uh, you see that, so it's an Ilford HP5 plus 400, so this is more of the film speed I was wanting to put in the trip when I got the Fuji film, because I just think it'll be a little bit more forgiving um, in different light. It's black and white. Um, It'll be good to see how the colour pictures come out of the trip. But now I spent the best part of, I don't know, two weeks sharing black and white photos. It just feels more organic and more connected to the analogue um, uh, way of doing things. So this first film is that Ilford. It's black and white and we'll see how I go. I've, I've literally loaded it up with film after I cleaned it and I've got it. Um, Taken a few shots of my test model, which is Tilly again. Um, it makes quite a bit of noise, so the shutter is quite hefty on this camera. And bless her, every time I took a photo, she jumped. So it'll be interesting to actually see if any of those shots are in focus because she was sat on the bed when I was taking those test shots. And if they weren't in focus, then um, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll prove uh, uh, the camera may not be quick enough or I need to be a bit more stealth when I'm taking pictures of the cat. Um, <clears throat> I love it, it's it's a great nick, it's got a new battery, um, so, so it's all working, everything's as it should be. I've done the usual and I've, I've gone onto YouTube and watched loads of videos about how to use it, how to load it, etc. Et and as I said, the one thing I did do is I always try and keep real good care of my kit, so the air blower, the, the um, dust brush has been out, the lens has been cleaned. Yes, there is dust inside the lens, there's dust inside my trip lens. I didn't see it in the final photographs. <clears throat> and if anything, it, it adds to the atmosphere of the shot. But I, I, it looks great. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get out and use it. Um, obviously, uh, when we've got some time over the weekend, I'll probably take it with me. Uh, rather ironically, we um, are going to the photography show in Birmingham in a couple of weeks. So, um, maybe not a couple of weeks, maybe early next week. But anyway, I may forfeit taking the EM5 um, and take the analogue camera. Actually, it's not a good idea because I want to try and get the EM5 cleaned. But, be interesting to take this along with me and maybe take some shots and, I don't know, annoy all the digital fans at the photography show. Um, I, I don't know what else to say about it actually, I just think it looks it looks great. It obviously looks really retro, but it's because it is retro, but it looks almost identical to my uh, my Olympus digital camera. And that's something I quite like with Olympus. They've, they've found a design and a look and feel, and then like Sony and Fuji, who moved away, did something thoroughly modern and then came back to the traditional look. Olympus never seemed to do that. They found something that worked, looked what the consumer was looking for, and just got on with it. <clears throat> I actually don't understand why Olympus aren't as popular as some um, the likes of Canon and Nikon but I guess there's a whole thing of Canon 
little snobbery and stuff, you know, out there. But I, I like the systems, and this is my latest edition of another Olympus. So I can't wait to go and shoot. I can't show you any pictures yet, um, but uh, as soon as I have them in, I'll be sharing them over on the Continuous Focus in the blog. And I look forward to hearing a how they come out and if this camera is any good. Because again, the benefits of you know, the, 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 the jeopardy of buying things on eBay is someone will say this is working, but I won't actually know until I get the pictures developed. So it's kind of exciting, kind of exhilarating, um, and I just have to wait. And now I have two cameras with films in them that I have to use up um, and develop. So uh, what's this space? Do I take a do I take a self portrait with this? Yeah, you know what I do. In the last video, I used the trip to take a portrait of myself blogging. So I might as well do the same thing here. So she's already run wrong. Okay, let me change the aperture. Right, so this is me doing my self my blog analog selfie with the OM10 um, and. Uh, well, that's exactly what it is. Anyway, hit the like button, please subscribe to my channel, obviously follow my blog and let me know if there's anything you'd like me to talk about or how you think these videos are going. Personally, I'm not quite sure at the minute, but we'll see how we get on. And until the next time, thanks for watching. See what I mean about that shutter noise? Cheers.